Okay, balancing. So it varies a lot from day to day, but also from person to person. So I have like very wide feet that I've balanced all my life. It becomes quite easy for me. Some people it's a lot different. So if you know your struggle, you can either use a wall or grab a chair so it can support you. If not, uh, just uh, trust me and we go for it. So we're gonna start with a tree pose. What I want you to start lifting, actually gonna mirror you, so lifting the right leg up and open up. So you might just wanna be here. Really try to press the left foot down. If you can, you're gonna grab the ankle and place the ankle on the left inner thigh. Now try not to sink in this hip, but really push up. Hands in namaste in front of the chest. Also, it helps to gaze down and look at a point in front of you. If this is very easy, you can try to stretch your arms up and maybe even gaze upwards. Keep pressing the foot down, keep growing up. Maybe you can circle the arms as well. Now we're really challenging. And whenever you're done, you place the hands in front. Try to let go of the knee and take the knee to the front. I'm gonna do a little bit what we did in the very first session, some hip compression. So you're gonna squeeze the knee into the chest and then let go but keep the knee there. And again, squeeze, 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 and let go and keep it there. Now take the knee to the side, squeeze, 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 and let go and keep it there. So you might just wanna be here, that's completely fine. Try to just feel these muscles and I'm falling. Squeeze, 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 and exhale, keep it there. Now I'm gonna place the hands forward and try to rotate the leg back. And then in, we're gonna take some knee circles. So I like to have my hands in namaste actually. So forward, side, back, and in. You might be getting very tired on the standing leg. It's the last one. Back, side, and in. And then slowly come back, place the foot down. Finally shake it off. Good, shake, shake, shake. Maybe walk the feet even a little bit, and we're gonna go to the other side. So transferring the weight into the right leg, opening up, maybe just here, completely fine. If you can, grab the foot and take it to the right inner thigh. Important not to press the foot into the knee, then you're gonna hurt the knee. So either down or up. Whenever you're ready, feel that you're lifting up, pressing this knee open, hands in namaste, gaze to a point in front of you. This is easy, reach up. I keep feeling the, uh, the foot grounding down, sorry, and everything rooting down, everything reaching up. If you want, hands really challenging the balance. Last one, good. Now we're gonna let go of the foot and take the knee in. We're gonna squeeze the knee into the chest and then let go, feel the hip flexors and release. Squeeze, 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 try to keep the knee where it is and leave it. Take the knee to the side, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze and release. And squeeze, squeeze, squeeze and release. Now try to walk the knee back to have hip mobility as well and in. Forward, side, back and in. Forward, side, back, and in. And you're done for this one. Okay, good. Shake it off, release. Shake, shake, shake. We're gonna do two more. I'm gonna turn this way so you see me a little better. We're gonna reach the uh, right leg up, flex the foot and place the right foot on top of the left knee. Okay, so not very far up. Then we're gonna sink the hips back so really try to open up this hip, flexing the foot, hands in namaste. Like one leg chair pose and sitting down. Sit a bit more. Two and one. You inhale to come back and release down. Just the other side. So pressing this foot down, right foot down now, lifting the left leg, flexing, foot on top of the knee, sink the hips back. So really activate this foot to push this knee down and sit. Keep sitting, keep controlling the knee. 
push the knee open, the left knee open. Three, two, one. Inhale to come up, release, and sink. Again, I always like to shake so I feel I don't become so heavy. We're gonna walk a little bit, bit eh, maybe in the middle of the mat, let's say that. You're gonna find a standing position, pressing the hands on the side of the body. So feel the back muscles already active. We're gonna release the right leg back, maybe point it. And now think that your body just gonna move this way. So try to reach the leg at the same time moving the back forward, but this doesn't happen, okay? So engage the shoulder blades, engage the back. Come down as far as you need. Maybe you need to bend the standing leg. Three, two, one. And slowly, same way, you touch and close. Good. Other side, so transferring the weight pointing the foot back. Now feel the back muscles, it's almost like a back bend. So stretching the back leg, maybe bending the front knee if you need. Coming down, try to squeeze the inner thigh to square off the hips. Long neck, strong back. Three, two, one. And then slowly come back, release. And you're done, take a little wiggle and I hope I see you tomorrow.